Um, tonight we're going to have a quick look at um, a basic um, shortwave receiver. It's the DGEN DE1107. Um, it's ca these came out in a number of different um, badge engineered versions. I think the Rhythmix uh, comes to mind. Um, they're a fairly basic radio, but uh, they're not expensive and they're reasonable performers actually, uh, considering. A lot of people try to um, compare them to the DGEN D1103 and of course uh, they're just not in the same um, league really. Uh, this, this particular radio uh, we've actually tuned to um, uh, 11725 kilohertz Radio New Zealand, you can probably hear them. And um, it's got a few features on it. You can see up the top there, there's the a clock uh, with alarm and uh, sleep functions on it. And um, these are twin alarms actually. And uh, beside that you have a little switch. I'll just turn that on. And that's actually the dial light, which uh, you probably can't see that uh, particularly well at the present moment. Uh, beside that there's your on-off power switch uh, and you'll see a lit um, LED on. Uh, below that you've got stereo indicator for FM stereo and you've also got a tuning indicator there. Um, here you have a sensitivity control um, in uh, three levels and also it's uh, FM mono FM stereo. And what it makes to me. Um, down here you've got a two position tone and um, it's also you might notice there that it allows mega bass um, when switched to music then below that you've got a volume control All around this side of the radio you've got a large tuning knob and then you've got your band chain switch there and below that uh, you have the, uh, the ability to uh, do internal charging of um, batteries if you wish to use that feature. On the back of the radio uh, there's a tilt stand there and uh, there's your battery um, compartment there which has four AA batteries in it. And this side of the radio um, you can see there's a um, a little lanyard there. Um, there's an FM shortwave antenna connection, uh, earphone connections, and a external six volt um, connection there. Uh, you'll notice uh, that it's a uh, center pin is positive. Now the coverage of the radio. You have um, your standard FM broadcast band. Well, actually, it's not the standard FM broadcast band. It's the Japanese. Uh, broadcast band from 76 megahertz to 108 megahertz. Uh, you've got your broadcast standard broadcast band for five. Whoops, the phone's just gone out of uh, thing there. Back in focus now. Uh, broadcast band 520 kilohertz to 16, about 1650 kilohertz. And then you've got short wave, which is uh, in um, uh, basically 10 bands. Uh, ranging from around about say 3.7 uh, to about 4.5 uh, then you have 4.5 to 5.1 of uh, megahertz and then 5.9 to about 6.5 megahertz probably around about 7 megahertz to about 7.7 .7 megahertz uh, 9.35 megahertz to 9 well, I say 10 megahertz 11 point probably 5, 5 megahertz to about 12.05 um, about 13.4 up to, to the about uh, 13, probably about um, 14 meg then 15.1 meg through to about 15.75 uh, about uh, 17.45 through to about 18 and then uh, 21 point say 4 up to about uh, 22 megahertz and um, yeah, quite a sensitive radio actually um, they perform surprisingly well as I said they're a uh, base, basic fairly basic model I'll try and tune that in and get a little bit better 
bit of noise there from the, uh, the, the phone camera. But uh, there we go. Um, you know, if you're looking for a, a basic short, short wave receiver with uh, reasonable performance, um, you know, the, D, the DGND 1107 is not too bad. Um, again, like with a lot of these radios, always check for quality control. Um, some of these, uh, you know, uh, radios uh, have, uh, uh, they vary quite a fair bit between samples. So, um, uh, you know, always try if you can before you uh, buy. But um, yeah, you should be fairly happy with this particular radio. There is no single sideband capabilities on it, so it's just um, uh, broadcast uh, shortwave and uh, your broad standard broadcast bands there. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the presentation of the DGEN DE1107 tonight. Cheers then.